My name is Jörg Lev. I work as a technical product manager for VMware's cloud provider software business unit. And today I want to show you what's new in VMware vCloud Director 9.7. In vCloud Director 9.7, a new release of vCD, we introduced a lot of functionality and enhancements for the vCloud Director platform. First of all, we have additional functionality in the tenant portal. So the HTML5 portal that can be used by our tenants to manage vApps and virtual machines. With that, it is now possible to also see the vApp network functionality. And we have additional customization and branding functionality. So it is now possible to change the look and feel of the tenant portal on a per tenant base. You can define your own colors, icons, and CSS definitions on a per tenant. It is also possible using the UI plugin extensibility and API to add your own second day operations into the context menu of a vApp and a virtual machine, which gives you the capability to create additional service offerings in a very visible and easy to access place in the tenant UI. With vCloud Director 9.7, there are also some improvements for the provider portal. Now, the old Flash-based portal is being replaced by the HTML5 provider portal, and we move more and more functionality in the, into the provider portal. So you can now create and manage your um, organizations and organization VDCs and do a lot of more um, tasks, provider tasks like network configurations and um, provider VDC configurations in the tenant portal. With vCloud Director 9.7, we also introduce vCloud Director as a central point of management. This allows you, as a service provider, to register dedicated vCenter servers that you offer on a per tenant base into the vCloud Director UI. So that a tenant can access the vCenter through the vCloud Director tenant UI without the need to log in directly or to create some specific v, uh, VPN configuration to access the vCenter. vCloud Director provides a proxy through the vCenter API, and the tenant user can use either the vSphere client or the API of that dedicated vCenter through the vCloud Director endpoint. Another new functionality in 9.7 is enhancements for the NSX Edge placement. So it is now possible to create some specific NSX Edge clusters and configure them in vCloud Director so that vCloud Director now places all the NSX Edge virtual machines that are being created as part of the VM and VM and uh, VApp and network automation of vCloud Director into that edge cluster. That is possible either on a global base, but you also can specify if you want different edge clusters on a per tenant base. Another new functionality in vCloud Director 9.7 is the flex allocation model. Within vCloud Director for the org VDCs, for now in older versions, you can choose between reservation pools, allocation pools, and pay-as-you-go models for resource management. In 9.7, it is now also possible to create or to use a so-called flex allocation model, which allows you to define and use the um, resource consumption on a per VM base. In combination with compute profiles, this allows also to have additional settings and influence the placement of the virtual machine in the resource clusters of the provider VDC. Another addition in vCloud Director 9.7 is some enhancements for the VCD appliance. So the vCloud Director appliance now also includes a Postgres database and allows more deployment models. So you can create clusters of vCloud Director appliances and um, add new appliances to existing clusters. For more information about vCloud Director and uh, versions of vCloud Director, visit cloudsolutions.vmware.com and see the newest announcement on blocks.vmware.com slash vCloud. Thank you for watching.